Now a KSL exclusive. His goal, climb the highest peak on each of the seven continents and sail all seven seas. He was pretty close when we last talked to Martin Fry last month. The holiday man had just one sea left to sail. As new specialist Keith McCord shows us, he made it. Mission accomplished. Last weekend, hundreds welcomed the crew of Visit Seattle, one of the boats that competed in the Clipper Round the World amateur boat race. It was the end of a 5,700-mile journey from China to Seattle across the North Pacific. It was a special event for Martin Fry of Utah. He had accomplished an amazing feat, one that took 11 years to finish sailing the seven seas and climbing the highest peaks on the world's seven continents. No one has ever done that. Well, I'll tell you, the Pacific is truly uh, the mighty Pacific. It battled us right as soon as we turned the corner uh, south of Japan. Uh, we got hit with head-on waves and uh, I got seasick uh, really fast and we were just miserable for a couple days or weeks, I can't remember. Martin and the crew worked alternating shifts, six hours on, four hours off. When he was on, he did it all, was at the wheel, helped get the sails up and down, untangled ropes, battled for balance in conditions where waves pounded the boat, which was leaning at incredible angles. It was storm after storm. When he was off shift, trying to get some sleep while nauseous and in constantly wet clothes was not fun. This is some of the most hostile uh, and isolated environment on Earth. This has been some of the roughest conditions I've had to deal with and certainly uh, challenging for everyone on board. Fry started doing the sailing trips and mountain climbs as a way to push himself to the limit and has shared his experiences in motivational speeches, telling people that to make life more fulfilling, you have to challenge yourself at times. Hugh Fernie, skipper of Visit Seattle, said this trip was by far his hardest sailing journey and said Fry's participation meant a lot to the crew. Truly inspirational uh, character, so, so it was really nice for the whole team to be able to, uh, to sort of meet him and share some stories and, uh, and I think we're all, uh, we're all better because of, uh, because of that. The harsh conditions certainly put a strain on everyone's physical and mental well-being. And then came word that a crew member on another ship, 40-year-old Sarah Young from London, was washed overboard and died. All the competitors were shocked, of course, and the crews paused and held observances on board their boats in her honor. And just the limit of our sight. Young's death brought it all home that this was no ordinary journey. Last Sunday, under sunny skies and calm winds, after more than a month at sea, Fry and his sailing mates were back on dry land with their family. You know, it's wonderful. It's an 11-year journey has taken a long uh, time, and uh, we've had to prioritize a lot of things around that. Um, but it was a goal I just felt was the right thing to do, and I look forward to seeing where this takes me next. Seven. Keith McCord, KSL 5 News.